Hello guys. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about this word. And this word, the way you say it, is called perspective, okay? So perspective is the way that we see things. And I'm going to give you a really good example of that in just a second. All right. I want you to think for just a second how the way you view things could be different and what what could kind of change the way you view things. Okay. So we're talking about the way you view things. This is what I normally see in my classroom. Kind of, um, everything's kind of put up right now because it's early in the morning, but this is the way I normally see my classroom when I'm standing and I'm helping people with, with what they're doing, all right? But if I were to imagine that I was something else, let's say a mouse or maybe a bug, would I be this tall, do you think? Or would I get really short down below? and that be my view. Yeah, I would get really short down below like this, and this would be my view. So if this is my view, is it the same thing that I was seeing earlier? No, so my perspective has changed, right? My perspective has changed based off what I see. I could also take my camera, and let's say something was standing next to me and it was very tall like this, all right? So my perspective changed again, right? Just the way that my head or what I was viewing kind of looked like. All right, I'll give you one more example of perspective in just a second. All right, so it looks like my perspective has changed once again. Does it look like things are a lot shorter or a lot taller? What do you think? If you said shorter, you're right. So this would be my perspective if I was really, really tall, right? You can kind of bear, there's where I was standing earlier right near that dot. There's my thing where it says, perspective, our whiteboard, all right? So I'm a lot taller now. Would I see the things that I see normally? No, my perspective has changed. The way that I see things has definitely changed, okay? So for today's drawing, what we're gonna do is we are gonna use, um, we're gonna imagine that we're a different, pers we're seeing from a different way, a different perspective, and then we are gonna try a new drawing, okay? Okay, so here we are back at our, our whiteboard, our drawing space, and here's our word again, so it's perspective, which was the way that you see things. Um, we saw a couple different views of my room um, just a few seconds ago, and we're gonna kinda use that, that knowledge and kinda how we saw things to help us out with our drawing today, okay? So for our, our drawing, all you're gonna need really is a piece of paper, a pencil and eraser, and then something to color with later in the day. It is um, up to you what you use. If you wanna use coloring pencils, crayons, markers, if you wanna get really fancy with it and pull out some paint, you can do that. It is all up to you, my friends. Whatever you have at home will work perfectly. Okay, so, we were, we were talking about perspective. So perspective, uh, sometimes it's a tricky word, even for Miss Williams. So perspective is the way that you see things. All right, so we're gonna change our view of something we normally kind of, well, we don't see it that much in the South, only whenever it snows quite a bit, but we all know what a snowman looks like. And we normally see snowmen that, I'm gonna bring back my perspective board so we can kind of talk about it. We normally see snowman from this angle, right? We see it straight on, like this would be his little top hat or whatever you need on him. He'd have eyes and a carrot and then, you know? We are gonna change how we would see our snowman. This is if we were standing and looking at it. We're gonna pretend that we are something very small. So you could pretend to be a mouse if you wanted. You could pretend to be like, um, I'm trying to think what would be what would be outside that's really cold. The only thing I could think of is a mouse, but if you could think of something else, just let me know what you kind of saw it as. But you're pretending that you're very, very small. So if you were small, you were like this, I'm bringing him back. If you were a little mouse, like that, there's Miss Williams, and you looked up, you probably wouldn't see every part of the snowman. You'd probably see from like here up, or even here up, you wouldn't see everything. And it wouldn't look straight like this. It's gonna change the way we see it. All right, 
With that in mind, you're gonna grab your pencil and grab your paper and prepare to draw from the perspective of something small, looking at a big um, snowman. I'm actually gonna do four snowmen, um, like if I was something small in the center and they were all looking down at me. So you can do that as well. You could just do a couple, it is up to you. So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna make, go to one of the corners, it's up to you which one, I'm gonna start in the bottom right. I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna make this kind of like big shape. It doesn't have to be a perfect loop, it is a-okay. And I'm gonna turn it to all my sides. I'm gonna make them a little different. This one, I'm gonna make a little skinnier. It's a little bit skinnier than this one. If you take, you take your fingers and measure, it's skinnier, it's smaller. Um, I'm gonna turn my paper so it's easier. And I'm gonna draw another one right there. That one's a little bit bigger, it's a little wider. And then I'm gonna do another kind of skinnier. My pencil broke, that is a-okay. I'm gonna try and see if I can finish it up. Just like that. And sometimes that happens. If you get a spot, just you can erase it gently. Okay. Um, let me grab another. second pencil ready. All right, so now we have these kind of forms. This, if we bring back our thing, would be like this part of our snowman. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna add on a head to each of them. So it's gonna be slightly smaller, depends on how, it, how big you want it. And it's not gonna be a perfect circle because we wouldn't be able to see. So it's gonna look like a big frowning face on each one, right? That one's kind of big. This one I'm gonna do like over there. This one I'm gonna do right there. You notice as I'm working, I can turn my paper. It doesn't have to stay in one specific spot. You can make it move however you want to. And this one I'm gonna put right there. So it would look like I have little snowmen looking down on me. So what I'm gonna do is now that I have my four guys, I'm gonna decorate kind of how I want. So this guy, I'm gonna add two big, two big eyes, maybe a nose. And if you think about the shapes that you're gonna do, right? A carrot would kind of look, from a perspective, it kind of look like a triangle. You could do, you could do more rocks. It is up to you. This one, I'm gonna pretend that he has a big button for an eye and a small one. And then some like rocks for a mouth. So take your time and decorate all of yours to kind of how you would like for them to look. And then once you get all their faces on, I'm gonna leave that one blank for right now because I can't think about what I wanna do for it, so I'm gonna leave it blank and come back for it. And then if you want, you could add like a hat. A hat is just like a rectangle on the top. You could add like lines coming down. This one I'm really gonna have be my fancy one. So I drew a squiggly line coming down, another squiggly line and I'm gonna carry it across kind of like that. And what do we think that is? Yeah, it's gonna be a scarf. So you could just add some color. Another way you could do a scarf would be, I'm gonna do it on this one. You could do a squiggly line coming down over here and then one coming down here. All right. And the only thing left that you need to add to them, I'm gonna stop here on mine, but definitely decorate. I'm gonna make your snowman kind of look your own. I'm gonna draw stick arms. So for that, I'm just gonna draw kind of a line, a line right next to it. 
and then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of make a V. So we have like the, or a, not a V. It's gonna look like a Y, but you're gonna, gonna go down like that. Stick hands, if you wanna do some more, you're just gonna add little, little stick arms. Kind of like they're cheering, like, yay! Our friend is here. Right? And then, once you get all of them kind of drawn, I'm going to add all of mine. You don't even have to draw two. You could just do kind of like a... Just like a basic stick, too. have arms, a couple of them have faces. I'm gonna just add kind of a face right here. Yeah, add a couple like rocks going down. It's really however you want to decorate, then you would just add color to it. 